I study something called transgenerational epigenetic inheritance, which is a very fancy term for what people usually call intergenerational trauma. I think in the first place, it's something that it seems more culturally relevant now than more than ever. We're starting to pay attention to all the historical things that happened in the past that affected how we live now. But also you can see by movies like Encanto and all these other like Pixar movies that we have a lot of populations that were historically marginalized and we're starting to see how that might have affected other generations even after the, the original trauma was done. To study that we use mice models. So we basically train these mice to fear a certain smell. So let's say the smell of apples and we see that the next generations will, will still have that fear of apples. That fear that is generated is passed down mainly epigenetically. So this is not something that is affecting the DNA. We're not really sure what the mechanism is. That's part of my research. I come from a neurodevelopmental background, so study how the brains form, how memories are formed, how we all begin. I want to see how early on this fear of a certain smell can be found. As early as an embryo, or is it something that you develop in life? Do you need to be exposed to these things? The fun part about studying the olfactory system, how we sense smell, it's one of the only parts of the brain that has a population of stem cells throughout your life. So it's one of the only parts that we know that neurogenesis, or the creation of new neurons, happens. And I'm very excited to see how, what, what has changed about these stem cells, what has changed about how the, the mouse is reacting to its environment or perceiving its environment. We see a lot of differences across sexes. So right now I'm seeing how maybe like what a mother will pass down to a son, how that could be different from what a father will pass down to a daughter. Again, this is all mice, so it's a little bit anthropomorphizing here, but in the very far future, obviously we want to some find some fix of intergenerational trauma. I think um, all the cultural things that I mentioned in the past find some way to fix uh, intergenerational trauma and that's really the goal, uh, to stop um, any memories or any sort of experiences, negative experiences to be passed down. That's obviously very, very far in the future, but by understanding the, those molecular mechanisms, we might learn a lot about evolution, about ourselves, about all of it.